with exponential. Uh, so title title this exponential and logarithmic uh, log function graphs. So that's what I want you to title this exponential and log function graphs. Okay, we got to talk about a couple of things before we before we unpack what do these graphs look like. We got to talk about what the domain is. You have this in the first unit. Okay? So when we when we talk about the domain, we're talking about the x values on the graph or the function. So we're talking about looking looking at the x values. We're look, talking about looking from the left to the right. We're talking about which ones work. When we're talking about the range, we're talking about the y values on a graph or a function. So there we're talking about the values going up and down. We're talking about y values. So that's what the domain and the range are. If we talk about um, increasing is a graph is going up from the left to the right. So a graph is going up when you read it from the left to the right. Decreasing is when a graph is going down from the left to the right. So you either got a graph going up, that's increasing from the left to the right, or a graph going down, decreasing from the left to the right. So when we're talking about increasing or decreasing, we're really concerned about reading it from the left to the right, which way is it going? This term asymptote, think of that as a leveling off. of a graph. We can do that in, in a horizontal asymptote. And if we do it in a horizontal asymptote, that's where we're going to have y equals a number is going to be our horizontal asymptote. That would be if a graph, um, if a graph was leveling off like like that, and maybe it's it's approaching a certain value in here. That's going to be y equals some number. It's not going to go any lower than that number. Um, we could also have what's called a vertical asymptote. So a vertical asymptote is x equals a number, and when we have a vertical asymptote, that's essentially saying that a graph is going and it's it's reaching maybe what you would call what would be considered a wall. So maybe the graph grows up like that, but it doesn't get any higher. It it uh, or doesn't doesn't move any further to the left to the right of that line. So it it reaches it reaches kind of a wall, so when you look at it, it reaches a wall. Um, we're going to talk in this, in this one about the idea of the end behavior. Now we're looking at, if we're looking at the left side, end behavior, is think about that as moving on a graph to the left. And really the question is what is happening? Okay, that's really what the left side end behavior is. Is as you're moving to a graph going going to the left, 
what's happening to the graph. You can also have what's called right side behavior, and that's moving on a graph to the right. The idea is what is happening. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what's happening as you move to the right on a graph. So, there's two types of equations that, that we're going to be working with. Generically, we can look at an exponential equation. And generically, our exponential equation is going to be y equals a b to the x, maybe minus c, it could be something up there, might not be anything up there, plus d. Now, a couple things that, that this thing does. This is the base. Remember, that's what we call the base. This is going to flip the graph um, if it's negative. Okay, This number right there is the horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote, y equals d, is where it's going to level off. So go back to looking at what horizontal asymptote, that's where the graph is going to level off. Generally speaking, an exponential graph will look like this. Very basic exponential graph, y equals b to the x looks like that. The domain on this one is going to be negative infinity to infinity. You can go anywhere on the left to the right. The range is going to be from the the range is going to be from the asymptote to infinity. Now if it's flipped over it's going to be the asymptote to negative infinity. The end behavior as x is going towards negative infinity y is going towards the asymptote. As x is going towards infinity, y is going towards infinity. Okay, so that's that's what's happening with an exponential equation. We can get the same thing with a logarithmic equation, but a logarithmic equation is going to be written in a little different format. The logarithmic equation is going to be written like this. y equals a log, remember that's the base, x minus c plus d. So these are just numbers. This is going to flip it if it's negative. It's going to flip it over if it's negative. This right there is the base kind of talked about that yesterday. This value right here is the vertical asymptote. x equals c. Remember it's an x number, x equals c. The d really doesn't do anything, it kind of moves the curve down but um, doesn't really um, affect what we're answering today. A basic log equation will look like that. This point right here is the point 1 comma 0. This point right here is the point b comma 1. Okay, If you think about these being inverses, just so you know this point right here is the point 0 comma 1 and this thing has a point right here b one comma b. 
1 comma b. So we flip them because they're inverses. So if we look at this equation, um, if we look at the domain, the domain on this one is going to be the asymptote to infinity. The range is going to be negative infinity to infinity. You can go anywhere on the y's, but everything will work. The end behavior The left end behavior, as x goes towards that asymptote, y is going towards negative infinity. And on the other side, as x goes towards infinity, y is going towards infinity. So that's a logarithm equation. So let me show you some of these examples, some of these, these things. So keep these notes with you, and let's look at, at some problems. And I'll do a couple problems, and I'll stop the video. So let's take a look at this one right here. This is a log equation. Notice it says log here. So you're going to get, and here's the graph of what it looks like. So now we're going to use our log notes right here. Here's the log notes. So we're going to use these notes. So we've got a log equation. And if you look at your thing, um, the first thing you're going to be asked on this, you've got to fill in all these blanks. First thing you're going to be asked, is this an exponential or log? This one's a log equation. It even says it right there, log. With a log equations have vertical asymptotes. Okay. Notice that this thing kind of has, has a wall right here at negative 6. Vertical, vertical asymptotes are x equals, notice that wall right there is negative 6, it's found right there, plus 6 means the, the wall is at negative 6. The range of the function, so the range, these are the y values, remember that when we do the range on, on these uh, log ones, it goes from negative infinity to infinity, and if you read this graph, this graph is increasing. It's going up from the left to the right. So it's increasing. The domain of this equation, notice that it hits this wall at negative 6. So it goes from negative 6 to infinity. The end behavior on the left side. So as you're approaching negative 6 from the right, we're going to negative infinity. The end behavior on the right side, so as we're going, as x is going to infinity, y is going towards infinity. And if we submit this answer, we get all the information we're supposed to have. So let me show you an exponential one. I'll get to an exponential one. I'll cycle through it. Here's an exponential one. Notice it's not the, the word log isn't there, so this is exponential. So if I graph this one, this is an exponential equation, not a logarithmic equation. This one is going to have a horizontal asymptote. So when you think about it, you go, okay, this is exponential. I'm going to look at those notes right there. Notice I have a horizontal asymptote. This horizontal asymptote is right there. It's negative 5. Notice how this thing levels off at negative 5. So it's y equals negative 5. The range of this function, so the y values that work, you notice that this thing hits a wall at, at negative 5. So the range is from negative 5 all the way up to infinity, because the range is the y values, the values that are moving up and down. And this one is also increasing. The domain of this function is negative infinity to infinity because the domain on the exponential one is negative infinity to infinity. The end behavior, 
approaching negative infinity, as x goes towards negative infinity, y is going towards negative 5. It's stopping right there. That's a wall that it's hitting. And the right side, as x is going towards infinity, so as x is going out this way, y is going towards infinity. Go back and review that, look at your notes, and if you have questions, come back on the Zoom call and we'll go over them.